Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this video. And I stated in the video it'd be easier. This is a, a pretty easy pattern to reduplicate, but you could try using the smoothing tool and make it humongous, make it like eight inches. And real quickly, just click, well, we need to group this together. Control G, grab the, the smoothing tool, click on the item and just real quickly, just pan through it and see it changed it too much. So we really can't do that. But what you can do, let's ungroup, well, we don't have to ungroup one. Let's just make a copy of one. We fill it in. Well, let's move the, the copy of it over. Actually, must have made two copies. So let's now let's rotate this guy to get it pretty even in perpendicular to the, to the screen. So let's bring in an indexing line and put it right there, so we can kind of tell when we uh, rotate it that we're kind of even. We want it to be more or less even. We're still a little bit. You could bring down another indexing line. See, we're a little bit high on the right hand side. And you can very easily do that by rotating it with this. We need to rotate backwards, so we need, let's try 227. Well, wrong way, 225. And that's pretty close. So now we're gonna left click, right click, and we're only gonna fix half this guy. And I'll show you why in just a second, I do this a lot. So we're gonna take, let's take the shape tool and see how many nodes there are. And, we can maybe delete some of these nodes. And we want it to kind of look like the original. And you could play around with this, you know, change your handles, maybe delete that one. That looks pretty good. Maybe delete that one, delete that one and that one, too much. And then maybe if you have X7 or above, take your smoothing tool. And remember we made it way big while ago, so let's make it like, 0.5, and let's just real quickly just kind of smooth that out. Now, if you notice, I only did one side, and we are gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. Of course, even though you'd think that, we everything else is already in the center of the page, but we're gonna hit P. Let's zoom in here. Let's take a two-point line, bring it down and hit P, and you can see if we zoom in, we're not really in the middle of the uh, that line. So let's grab our pick tool. And, whoop, I'll hit it twice and rotate it. Just click on it once and just move that line. Whoop, I'm on the other item, but it doesn't really matter which one you move. So that's pretty close. And remember, we fix this side, not that side, even though this side looks pretty good. Um, then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete this side. Delete your line. Control D and make a duplicate. And while you're holding down the control button, I did the video on this just the other day. You kind of make sure your nodes are touching and they're really not. So let's try this. Let's take the rectangle tool and take the smart fill tool and fill in our deal and see if we have a leak and we do not have a leak. So we take our smart field because now our smart field, the nodes are gonna be connected and, and solid. So let's just get rid of all this stuff and let's get our drawing back and tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our one item black. I'm gonna left click on black so we know which one's what. And I'm just gonna take it and put it right in there. And basically I'm just redoing their drawing. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put that to the right there, double click on it, move our rotation of that point or close. And I'm just gonna rotate to about there. You can see we're a little bit different, but that doesn't really matter. Let's make our nudge factor something less, 0 0.001. Take our black and just move it up ever so slightly, kind of where you want it. Now what we want to do is take this same item and control D and make a duplicate and mirror it both directions and you get just the opposite. 
and then put it on top of that one. Control D and make a duplicate there. Let's mirror it and let's put it here. So that's actually a, a real mirror. Let's put it there and mirror it the other way and put it here. So now we've got the four parts of this group and we can change them a little bit later. I cannot tell if these are squares or circles. So we're gonna use squares and we're gonna, I should have held down the control button. So let's do that again, holding down the control button. And we're gonna put them on a little bit of an angle. And what I should have done before I even started this, I want to see if, yes, I've got everything grouped together, so we'll be able to remove that. And then we have that angle, that square that we just built. So let's grab that and control D and make a duplicate of that, keeping the same angle to put over here. And I'm not taking a lot of time, control D, and see if moved it down. So if you ever want to not have to move it down, just hit your plus sign and it makes a copy on top of that other copy, and it doesn't have to move. Now we're in pretty good shape, and we're gonna grab our deal, and we're gonna go with this. Now we're not perfect, but we're gonna go and make all of it red, <clears throat> and we're gonna use these indexing lines for a second. We're gonna group this together. Control G, and then we're gonna rotate it. And we're going to see how close we came with everything. Let's put, you know what, we're pretty good shape. One thing you can always do is rotate from this point so we can double click on it and move your rotation there. And then that way you can rotate to that line. Everything else looks pretty good. I think we're good to go. So now the only thing you need to figure out, let's get rid of these indexing lines is how big this is, and it's, let's make it just a hair bigger with the, the tool so it'll be easier. Let's make it 1.2, made it just a hair bigger. So let's set our nudge factor on 1.4. Let's see what it looks like. Control D and make a duplicate. That's a little bit too far. Let's go 1.3, Control D and make a duplicate. That looks pretty good. And then just keep controlling D and move it over. Now, after you have so many, I'm gonna make one more or a couple more. Now we need to grab the whole thing and group it together, control G and control D and make a duplicate. But we're gonna move this thing manually about halfway. I need to look at the drawing. And I also need to try to turn it at an angle, kind of, kind of see the pattern. You know, and if I drew it again, I'd probably not have those other uh, diamonds in there. Or let's just do that real quick. Let's uh, ungroup this. And let's get rid of these top down. We have to ungroup them all. So select everything and go to object, group, ungroup all. Now let's get rid of these diamonds. And that act, that actually might help us. And I actually had two copies. We're gonna set those diamonds, maybe hopefully on those other diamonds. Or not diamonds, they're boxes on a square. Now we're gonna group this together again, control G, and manually move it to about in the middle. That's a pretty good pattern. Control G and make a group of it. Control D, but then take it and move it back to where it was originally. Well, we've got those same diamonds. So let's back up here. I call them diamonds, we, I shouldn't call them diamonds. So let's make a couple copies of those. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Then now we won't have the problem of making those diamond shapes fit. 
and we're going to put it about right there. And if you were doing this for real, you'd want to maybe do some measurements. And it all depends on what you're doing this for. But I'm just going back and forth. And you'd want to make quite a bit more uh, copies of it. And we could, the easiest thing to do would be to go to ungroup all and get rid of these diamonds. And I just swipe through them. Now, control D or control G to make a group, control D to make a, a duplicate, and then start moving, but hold down the control button so they're equal. And then we just need to move it over a little bit to like we have it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go this way. And then control D again and probably move them back the other way, but for the video, that's good enough. Now I'm gonna group these together, control G. And if you remember, the, the original one was on a angle, but it didn't look like an angle. So ours is an angle, so we're gonna just angle it, you know, whatever degree you want it to. Take the rectangle tool and make a rec make a rectangle through here. And if you needed to make it bigger, you could always make it bigger. You know, your um, your drawing itself. And then because it's a group, I think we're going to select everything and make sure you select everything and go right here to front minus back. And this is going to take just a second because it's got so much to do. That did not work whatsoever. So we might try going to intersect and that worked. That works a lot better to me than um, uh, power clipping because it's, some people have had power clipping trouble. I'm gonna hit P, hit P. Now there's our same problem with the rectangle. And there's several ways to do that. You could add, uh, well, let's just do it. Plus sign, 0.5, make sure this is unlocked. I needed to unlock it first. Plus sign, 0.25. Plus sign 0.25. And now we have a, a bigger border around the drawing. And that didn't take very long to draw. And I think you've, you've got a lot better looking and you could have made it actually look better than I did. Anyway, let's see what it looks like filled in and then I wanna thank you for watching and hope that helped. Make it black so it'll show up a little bit on the video better. That's a pretty cool design. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.